Hey, my name's Mark Cambron, and this is my story. I'm uh, 48 years old. I've been married for 22 years. I have three uh, wonderful children, an upcoming uh, senior in high school, a sophomore in high school, and an upcoming seventh grader. I grew up in a Christian family. We went to church every Sunday, Sunday school, v VBS. When I was 11 years old, I can remember my mom asking me if I would like to join the church, and I said, sure and she promised me a, a night of Chuck E. Cheese and video games if I uh, went and got baptized. So we went and scheduled the baptism. And uh, I can remember uh, to this day coming out of the water and realizing that I didn't feel any different. If I had perhaps shared that with my mom or maybe our pastor, then uh, maybe my life would have taken a different route. But I had other things to uh, to go and conquer like video games. Probably about a year to two years after that, uh, we our family moved twice to two different cities. And uh, once we moved, we never went back to church at any kind of regular basis. And so, um, you know, I lived the uh, kind of typical high school life, I played uh, sports for my high school, had a great group of friends, and church really wasn't a part of that. And then when I went to college, uh, I can remember my freshman year of college, uh, there was a uh, gentleman by the name of Gibbs, and I can't remember his last name, but he was having a, a uh, discussion with one of my uh, uh, hallmates, who is also a philosophy major, about Jesus. And uh, I was very intrigued, and he and I started meeting, and uh, eventually I went to a uh, Campus Crusade for Christ retreat where I came so very close to uh, accepting Jesus as my Savior, but I just wasn't willing to give up the new freedoms that I discovered, uh, living away from home and on my own, and uh, all the other things that uh, college offers. So uh, not too long after that, Gibbs wasn't around anymore, and um, I just kind of did my thing, doing the things that I wanted to do. Um, in, in hindsight, living a very, uh, very uh, selfish life. Fast forward a few years, Bethany and I uh, met and were married, and uh, we were probably married about five years when um, we had uh, Mason, our oldest daughter, was just over one, uh, one years old, and we, we just found out we were pregnant with Gray, and uh, she's really the one that was called to go to church. I think she's the one that realized that uh, we were a young family, and she really wanted uh, our family to, to grow up going to church. Bethany started visiting First Baptist Church of Woodstock, and after maybe three or four weeks, she uh, came home and told me that she thought I would really enjoy it, that they were really, really nice, and that she had been just really encouraged. And, uh, and so after a while, we started going and uh, just going to church. We didn't get plugged into Sunday school or anything. And My mom started joining us and my younger sister. I, I probably want to say we were going for, for two or three months. And then uh, one morning, Pastor Johnny gave a message, and he probably gave the invitation uh, six or seven times. He would just stop the music, kept encouraging people to, to, to make a decision. And, and uh, I can remember standing up and telling Bethany that uh, I, was gonna, I was gonna walk down. And uh, she stood up and said, well, if you're walking down, I'm, I'm going down. And then my younger sister uh, said, well, if y'all are going down, I'm going down. So uh, the Lord saved all three of us that day. And um, I can remember uh, walking walking down from the balcony and just feeling like this load, this burden on my shoulders that uh, I didn't even know was there had been lifted. It wasn't too long after that that uh, we got you know, fully engaged. We joined a Sunday school. My story after salvation has really been about missions. In that first Sunday school class, uh, a good friend of mine had gone on his first mission trip and, and was really moved by how the Lord spoke to him. And I can remember sharing with Bethany that I don't know what he experienced on that trip, but I, I really want to experience that as well. And so for the last 10 years, I have been uh, heavily involved with our uh, ministry efforts in the country of Portugal. and. Um, while I don't think it's my calling to go and live there, um, it has been an incredible experience and joy to, to watch how uh, that calling on my life has affected the lives of my family and my children as they grow older. I'm really excited to see what uh, God has in store for, for their lives. My name is Mark Cambron and this is my story.